Alright, so, <laughs> I, uh, totally failed, um, two days ago. This is, uh, my second shiny Beldum. Last time I failed because, uh, I used the Lepaberry on a non-shiny Beldum because I was trying to get the Beldum to never run out of takedowns. And then that'll be easier for me to run into the shiny Beldum, but then the shiny Beldum appeared and I didn't have a Lepa Berry to do my strategy to never allow it to faint. And I I I threw a bunch of Pokeballs at it. It was at 1 HP, but it wouldn't catch and it struggled and it fainted itself. Today, two days later, maybe a good, I don't know, 6 to 12 hours, I run into a second Beldum that's shiny. So now I'm going to catch it. I should be able to catch it this time. First I'm going to paralyze it so that when I uh, take out this other Beldum, it's not going to... It's not gonna faint. I mean, uh, it's not gonna call for more bell than the beer. So, first step is paralyzing it. Second step is getting rid of that bell. And that's really good. And I know it has 20 takedowns left. And only has takedown. Now, the critical part. Switch into this Alolan Executor. It has the ability Harvest. And Harvest or I'll explain. So, okay, so that's one takedown. I want to bestow a Leopard Berry to this shiny Beldum. That's two takedowns. And then I want to give it or uh, switch switch its skill. So that now it has harvest. So when that, that bell, shiny beldum uses up three three takedowns. When that shiny beldum uses uh, uses up all its takedowns, use the I think three so far. Um, it will. It will use the leopard berry to get, gain ten more leopard berry, uh, uh, ten more uh, takedowns, and then harvest will allow it to get the leopard berry back. So then it'll never run out of takedowns, and it won't struggle and and make itself faint. And now I switch to shine, my shiny decidui because it's a ghost type. Takedown will never hit it, and so it will never hurt itself again. And now it's going to be at one HP. I think that's the fourth or fifth takedown. And now I can infinitely chuck fifty beast balls at it. I'm, I'm just going to chuck 50 Beast Balls. And if I run out, then I'll chuck a bunch of Luxury Balls. Oh wait, I forgot. Roto Catch. Last time, it, uh, yeah, it fainted. Because it ran out of... Ran out of uh, takedowns. I I forgot that Beldum has a low catch rate. It's like six. Now I'm just gonna press A, and it's this this shiny Beldum's as good as mine. I just hope it's jolly. Just hope it's jolly nature. That's it. I mean, I have a master ball. That's if I use all my 
Pokeballs of Broom. Actually, that's probably gonna... First gonna use all these... Beast Balls. Then, if really, like, all 50 Beast Balls, like, don't catch it, then... Uh... Then I'll use, I think, like, 30 Luxury Balls. I'm hoping one of these balls, you know, will catch it because it looks cool. And now, yeah, this, this shiny bell is as good as mine. I'm just hoping it's at 50% synchronized from Alakazam kicks in for Jolly Nature. Yes! Alright. If only it went smoothly like that other time. It's okay. Come on. No nickname. Please be jolly. Yes! Yes! Oh shit. This was so worth it. Oh shit. Alright. I had a... Shit, yeah, I had eight more takedowns. Alright, having a good day. Add to the party. Thank you, Alakazam. You're a champ. Save it. Save this. Okay, let's just ch check how g good it is if I need to hyper train it. Nah, eh, don't worry. And it is pretty much perfect. It is pretty much perfect. The key st two um, stats are speed and attack, but it is pretty much perfect. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching. This is uh, my uh, way of uh, feeling good after I didn't get a a perfect shiny uh, Beldum in uh, Pokemon Go, and my and my really good friend did. Uh, I pretty much have a perfect Beldum here, you know, no matter Meteor Mash, and that's my way of feeling good. All right, thank you all for watching. Later.